All right. Hey guys, we are live. I've got some helpers here. I've got Jackson over here, right? Yeah. And then over here, so they came to help me out with class today. So you guys can follow along. I'll have them do all the hard stuff so that they can do the really impressive stuff that I can't do. But yeah, we're gonna get started in about a minute and 40 seconds. Here's what you need for class today. You need something like a target pad and a cone. Okay, so the target pad could be your headgear, it could be a hand pad, it could be a pillow. If you have a target pad, very good, you can use that. Uh, a cone or a toy, something you use, a plastic cup, something that's not breakable that you can use uh, for another drill we're gonna do. So we won't need those until well into the class, but we have a minute 19 before we get started. Hey Evan, definitely put on there when you've uh, gotten to class or when you've logged in here, put your student's name in the chat box there so we know who is with us. We are really excited about our in-person classes. The school has never been cleaner. We have a lot of uh, safety precautions. We have areas where students can be. We have the bags separated out so that we can do drills. We have wipes and sanitation so we can keep everything clean. So definitely the safest place in town to come and train. So definitely get your online classes booked. If you need help with that, let our staff know. We're happy to help you uh, do that. It was an email that went out with a video link that shows you how to download the app and all that kind of fun stuff. So check that out and uh, book your classes and definitely feel safe because we've got that under control. All right, hey Claire and Grayson is here. Excellent guys. Again, yeah, drop in there anybody who's in class while I take a sip of my drink. We are gonna work on the form today quite a bit. We're also gonna be working on our self-defense. So pretty much, if you're able to do the self-defense, you're gonna be able to get your self-defense stripe as soon as you walk back into the Taekwondo school, so look for that. Mr. Cooley's in the house, excellent. All right, so we have five, four, three, two. All right, I think I can put this down. I don't think I need this. We may need to close that door. So, yeah, we can get that door. We have classes happening at the same time, so we are really, really excited. All right, so first thing, we're gonna bow in. Remember that if you're at home, uh, that is your dojo, that is your martial arts, so that's your alma for the next half hour or so as we go through training. So keep it sharp, do your very best. All right, so ready, face front first. Strong bow. And academy tends to begin. I will demonstrate leadership, strength, commitment, knowledge, respect, sir. And one more bow. Excellent job. We're going to start off with hands and guard. We're just going to do out and backs. Out and backs are jumping jacks without using your hands. Okay? So 20 seconds of just out and backs with your legs. Ready? And go for it. Out and back. Good. We're going to need our cone somewhat soon. So if you have that available, the target pad we're not using until the end, but the cone we will use here for one of our warm up skills. All right, and three, two, one, and time. All right, good for there. Fuse wide shoulders, neck rotations, all the way around, stretching out your muscles in your neck. Good, then another way. All the way around and around, where we'll stop, nobody knows. Arm circles forward. Good. Don't forget, if you're watching a live class or not watching a live class, make sure you put your name in the comment section so you get that class credit. And backward circles. These guys get class credit for helping me out today. And back and forth across the body, get your arms loose. Good. All right, here we go. We're going to grab that cone, and you're just going to put it uh, somewhere that has a little bit of space. So I'm going to put it on my X on the floor. All right, I'm going to lower my camera out a little bit so you can see a little bit better what my feet are doing. Too low. Da, 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 da. There's not a just right. All right, so from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do those out and backs uh, that we just did. So feet out and back like that. But what I wanna do is avoid the cone or cup or toy or whatever you're using. So I'm gonna go forward and back, forward, or then backwards. I'm gonna go forward twice, backward twice, okay? So these are called diamonds. So we're gonna try this without hitting our cone. And we're gonna do it for 20 seconds. Ready, set, and go for it. Good. Out together, out together. Same movement we did before. We're just now going forward twice, backward twice. Forward twice, backward twice. Good. This is my third workout today, so my legs are already screaming. I know that's sad. That's why I brought these guys to help me. And three, two, one. Good job, time for that. All right, from there you can toss your cone to the side. We're gonna use it later on for a balance drill. And then find a spot to have a seat. We're gonna stretch our legs out. So very important. Flexibility is easy to be, uh, it's easy to lose, and it's hard to get. So make sure we're really working hard on our flexibility here today. So legs straight, feet together. We're gonna reach forward, hold on your feet if you can, or we're gonna stretch as low as you can. Hold it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, 
a little bit lower, five, four, a little bit lower, three, two, one, and time. Good, we're gonna take one leg, put it behind you. Other leg can be straight as it can be, okay? I don't want my knee to be up at all. I'm gonna lean my chest towards my knee. Then I'm gonna reach my hands out, hold my head down for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, a little bit lower, five, four, three, two, one, and switch. Other side. Good, again, reaching, lean with your chest first. Okay, the first thing is my chest, then my arms go out, ready, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, lower, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. We're gonna go legs out to a V. All right, so you want to feel the stretch before you start stretching. So if I don't feel a stretch right now, if I'm comfortable, then I'm gonna try to push one leg or the other leg out a little bit wider, okay? I do feel the stretch. From here, hands get off on your head. 10 side to side stretches, ready to go for it. Side to side, one, sir. Side to side, two, good. Three, four, sir. Five, six, halfway there, guy. Keep it up as low as you can. And eight, there's nine. One more, 10, sir. Excellent, legs up a little bit further. Good job, gentlemen. And we're gonna reach down the middle as low as you can. You can hold on to your feet if you want to help pull you forward. Reaching low, go as far as you can hold. Five more seconds, four, three, two, one. Butterfly stretch, bottom of our feet together. Either move your knees up and down or push your knees straight down to the floor like that. That's pretty good. I can't do it quite that low as you guys. All right, good. And from there, we're gonna hop up, get five jumping jacks while I fix the camera and get a quick spot water. Good. All right, let me see if we got camera right. Pretty close. All right, so first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna go through our, our form. What I wanna mainly focus on is our hand techniques, okay? Our hand techniques are very, very important. Let me adjust this a little bit. Don't need this. Weight sense here, out of it, all right. Good. All right, turn to adjust so you can see my feet and my head at the same time. My feet are more important. All right, so from here, as we go through our form, the couple of moves in section one, we repeat them, so there's not a lot of moves, but the most important thing we get is the preparation, that's where it starts, and the execution, which is where it finishes. If I have those two things together, it's kind of going on a road trip. Okay, if I'm gonna go from, from here to my friend's house and lose to another state, I don't wanna go all over here just to get over here. I wanna go as quickly as I can to get there so I get there quicker, okay? So if I have a hand technique, or whatever, I want to make sure it starts in the right place, ends in the right place. That's how a sharp hand technique will go. So first, we start here, we have our bow. Our bow is just like a signature. You ever seen someone's signature? Okay, it's just kind of like a personal, like, movement, okay? So I go from here, strong bow, just like that. I already say our left leg, this is my left leg, this is your left leg, except as wide as our shoulders. My hands come up to my chest here, making an X. My left hand is on top of my right hand because my left side is going to go first. My left foot's going to step backwards. So, again, most important thing is where this hand move starts. This is a low X block, so my hands start, pull back on my belt. Okay, and you can't see my elbows. Now you can. I don't want it to be like this, or else it's not the movement's not going to go the right direction. I want my elbows pulled back behind me. If you see, my elbows are pulled straight backwards like that. So when I step back with my left leg, I'm going to shoot my hands down to make that low X block. The movement is the same as a punch, okay? So I'm punching both those arms down to do that block, okay? I'm not swinging them down. All right, let's do that one more time together. So we start here, nice and tall. Hold back, your left foot steps back and punch those hands down just like that. Very good, from there, my high block, my right hand is on top because my right foot is in front. So my right hand just shoots straight up above my forehead. So you can't see the top of my hair because my hand is just covering it, or my arm is. I don't want it this high, I also don't want to cover my eyes. From here, I'm going to switch arms and punch once. Again, you can see my elbow pull way back. I'm going to push straight forward and punch. Good job, gentlemen. From here, I'm going to turn my toes this way. I'm not going to step. I'm not going to move my feet other than just turning my toes. Then this hand is going to punch to that side of the room. Now, from here, we imagine somebody in front of me here grabbing my shoulder my sleeve. So I'm going to get away by swing my arm up over. Then my other hand palm strikes as my toes turn back to the front. Excellent. From here, we have two more moves in the first half of section one. Take your back leg, front kick. When I land, that palm strike becomes a target for my elbow strike. All right, good job, go ahead and relax. Check here, Drew's here, excellent. And if you have questions on the form, you guys can drop it in. There's about a 10 second lag. 
So you've got to give me 10 seconds to read your question or, or whatever before I do, okay? So let's go through that part again and add the next part, which is the exact same thing, starting with the left high block, okay? But let's start from the beginning. Hands up. It's not hands up, like, you know, my hands, hands here. Pull back. Left leg steps back, low X block. There's a yell there. From there, my right arm shoots up, high block. Switch arms and punch once. Turn your toes. Switch arms and punch twice. The arm that's punching goes up and over the rainbow. The other hand smashes the rainbow with a palm strike. Hold that hand up there as you front kick. Open it. Hit it with an elbow. Hey yeah. All right, let's scoot back a step here so you can be seen. All right, so again, still left leg. My left arm just got hit. It becomes my high block now. From there, I switch arms and punch once. I turn my toes to the right. Switch arms and punch twice. That left arm goes up and over the rainbow. My right hand smashes it with a palm strike. Hold that out there as I front kick. Then it becomes a target for my other arm. Elbow strike. Very good, very good. Now, we are going to go through section two in just a few minutes, okay? But what I want to go through really quickly is my elbow strike. I don't want to slap my elbow. You can hear us hitting, but my elbow is actually hitting my arm. Or hitting my hand, I'm sorry. My elbow is hitting my hand, okay? I don't want to make it too loud and hit too hard because I don't want to get hurt, okay? So you should not be red, sore, or anything like that. All right, very good. So from here, we're going to go through section two. And as I go through section two, it's a little bit confusing, I know, watching it, okay? But what you have to remember is you're gonna do left chop punch, right chop punch. That's the most important thing right now, okay? Your back is gonna be to the screen that you're watching right now, so you have to look over your shoulder, which is annoying, I get it, okay? But it's the best we can do with the circumstances that we have, so we're gonna work, okay? So from here, ready? We're gonna go back to that last move, which is my right foot and my left elbow. All right, so from here, my left arm does the elbow strike. I'm gonna then pick up my back foot, open my left hand. I'm gonna turn and chop to this side of the room. Okay, so right now, we're all going this way. My left foot's in front. Your back is kind of the camera to chop. Then my other hand does a punch. Now, I'm gonna step my left foot together, okay? And I'm gonna cross this arm on top. So I'm gonna face away from the screen, and I'm gonna step over to the other side. Chop, punch. All right, very good. Now, this hand is on my belt, okay? I'm gonna turn my toes to the back of the room, but I'm not gonna step anywhere. This hand goes up and down like this towards the back of the room. So I'm gonna turn away from the camera, up and down, pushing that hand down. Then from here, the same hand is gonna do a back fist as I step away from the screen. Then my left hand does that downward palm strike. Down, no step. Now my left hand hugs on top, step away from the screen, back fist. Last move in section two, my back leg does that big round kick. Okay, there's another yell there. And that's the end of section number two. So we're going to stop there for now. If we have time again, we'll go back through that again. But if you need help on either of those sections, when the live class is over, you can back it up to this part of the class, and you can just watch this section of class a couple of times, okay? All right, very good. From there, we're going to go on to our self-defense stripe. So our self-defense stripe is simple, but not necessarily easy. Okay, like a push-up is simple. I just bent my arms, but they're not necessarily easy. So follow along and do your best, okay? We have section one and two that is for everyone, and then section three is for brown belts and through black belts, okay? So part one is a hook punch, but it's really close. It's so close that they're almost gonna miss me, but I still don't wanna get hurt, okay? And so what I'm gonna do is my hands are always here for self defense. Hey, I don't wanna fight you. I don't wanna fight right now, okay? I'm sorry that happened, whatever. My hands are up like this. Okay, then as they come in with that hook punch, I'm also going to come a little bit closer to them. Okay, this ear is where they're trying to attack, so this arm goes over like I'm touching my back. You see my hand? Like I'm touching my back, patting someone in the back, all right? And then there's an, another attack from there where we're going to defend. Okay, so let's go left side first. So our left hand is going to come up over, all right? The defense is my right hand is going to uppercut. And uppercut is one of the closest range moves we can do, but the guy that's trying to hurt me is right here, okay? I can smell his breath, too. And I'm gonna uppercut right there to defend myself, okay? So what we're gonna practice for about 20 seconds is that upper, or that shield block, sorry, uppercut combo. So again, right now we're just protecting the left ear. All right, 20 seconds, I can't get to my timer. Set and go for it. So walk, Uppercut. I'm still looking at the screen, okay? I don't want to cover my, my eyes. I still want to look, okay? So I'm trying to make it so his fist touches my back, maybe, okay? But doesn't hit my arm or my head. All right, good, go ahead and relax. Let's do the other side. So again, I'm here. They're going to attack this ear now. So that hand, I scoot forward. That hand touches my back, all right? And I'm kind of hiding underneath my arm. And then my other arm does the uppercut to defend. 
All right, so again, let's do slow. I move in. Right hand comes up and touches my back hand. Okay. And then my other hand, uppercut to defend. All right, good. So for about 20 seconds, we're going to block, uppercut. Okay, again, block, uppercut. 20 seconds, and go for it. Block, uppercut. Good. Here and here. Protecting, protecting yourself from that really close range. That guy's trying to come at us. We're going to protect ourselves, though. All right, good. And three, two, one, and time. All right, we'll reset here. And the next part here is if they have the perfect distance. Okay, so the perfect distance. All right, good. Hunters here. We have two hunters here. Awesome. So the, this is the perfect distance. So perfect distance means if I don't move, he's definitely going to hit me. Okay, and so what this is is called parallel block. Okay, parallel means they're both going a straight line up and down. And when I'm doing this, I'm shooting it out and blocking their arm. One of my arms goes on their forearm, the lower part of the arm, and the other one goes towards their bicep, okay? So what part of their arm should be between my arms? What are you guys saying? So if I'm blocking their forearm and their bicep, what part of their arm is in the middle of my arms? Elbow, very good, thank you. All right, so elbow. So their elbow should be in the middle of your two arms. So we're gonna pretend our left ear is being attacked. So we'll do both arms this way. Now again, the bad guy's in front of me where you guys are, okay? And so the closest hand is my right. I'm gonna back this to defend myself, okay? So again, I'm gonna stop him from hurting me, and I'm gonna protect, okay? So let's do this a couple times on this side. So going to the left, my double block, or my parallel block, back this. All right, let's go 20 seconds, and go for it. Both arms block, back this. Both arms block, back this, good. You don't have to go fast, you can go nice and slow. Nice and perfect. That's what we want. We don't want to try to go fast and sloppy. If you want to go fast and perfect, that's fine. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and time. All right, very good. We're going to go to the other side now. So again, protecting this ear against a big, oh, sorry, big hook punch coming at it. So I'm coming in, blocking with both arms, back fist with the closest hand. Let's go slow. Hands up. Hey, I don't want to fight. I don't want you to hurt me. We bring both arms over to the right side. Good. And then back fist. Perfect, all right guys, there we go. 20 seconds on the clock and go for it. Both arms block, back fist. Good, parallel block, back fist. Hopefully we never need to use these moves on somebody. However, knowing them also makes our bodies a little stronger, a little bit quicker, and a little more coordinated. So we, those things definitely help us. Block, back fist. Good, three, two, one, and time. All right, if you are a brown through black belt, you have section three here. If you're not a brown belt yet, you don't have to practice this. You can get a drink of water real quick, okay? Or grab a, a cone or a target pack if you haven't done that already. All right? Or you can do this part if you want to. So this one, the first one was very close. The second was perfect. So what would the third one be? What do you guys think? Far away, okay? So now they're a little bit far away, but that doesn't mean that they're not going to hit a swing with one and swing with the other and keep coming at me until they hurt me. So if I can protect myself sooner than later, that would probably be good, okay? So I'm here again. I'm saying, hey, man, I don't want to fight with you. And as they swing at my ear here, they're, they may not know how far away they are. I'm going to duck my head back, okay? That's the first part. The second part is the hand on that side pushes it the way it's already going and passes it to my other hand. Now I'm going to hold on here or just push it away and then hook punch to defend. So if they're aiming my left ear, I go left hand, right hand, left hand. All right, let's all do that together. Ready? Left hand, right hand, left hand. All right, so it goes one, two, three. All right, so again, we're going to go smooth on this. We're only going to go 10 seconds. Though. Ready? Set and go. Left, right, hook punch. Good. Left, right, hook punch. Good, a few more seconds. All right, let's do it one more time as fast as you can do it right. On your mark, get set, go. That was very fast. All right, let's do the other side now. So again, they're aiming at this here, but they're just, it's passing right in front of my nose. So I pull my nose back, my right hand passes it to my left hand, and my right hand does a hook punch. So I go right, left, right. Again, I go right, left, right. Okay, so again, we're gonna go 10 seconds on this, and we'll be back here for one of our final challenges. Here we go. Or two final challenges. Ready and go for it. Right, left, hook punch. Right, left, hook punch. And a hook punch is one of our farthest range that we can reach on with our hand techniques. Two, three. All right, let's go turbo speed. On your mark, get set, go. I think you guys are a little bit faster than me. All right, very good. So now you do need your cone. We have, I lied, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to lie to you. We have three final challenges today. All right, so from here, 
First thing we're going to work on with our cone is just a, a balance move, okay? So this balance move, I'm going to start with my foot up like this. This is the hardest level. The easier level is going to be touching my other foot with it. And then the next easiest level is going to be touching my toe to the floor. All three levels still work really well though, okay? So here's what the goal is. I'm going to have one foot up. I'm going to squat down, put the cone down. I'm going to pick it up with the other hand and then stand back up again. Then I'll switch legs and do it on the other side. So I'll stand one foot, I'll touch it, pick it back up with the other hand, and stand back up, and I'll switch feet again. Again, the easier level is putting my foot on top of my other foot. Okay, I'm still balancing. It's just a little bit easier. The other one is pointing my toe behind me and touching it to the floor as I go down. So just my toe, not my whole foot. Very tough. Okay, so again, I'll go right side, then left side. All right, do your best, and it's okay if you get a little bit wobbly. Ready? Timer set, and go for it. So I'm going down. Switching hands, stand back up, whoa, and switching feet. Down, switching hands, back up, switching feet. Again, I can stand on my other foot if I want to, that's a little bit easier. I can also put my foot behind me, touch my toe. Only my toes touching, that's still hard. All right, do your best, here we go. All right, good. Almost there, five seconds left, don't give up, don't give up. Three, two, one and time. All right, we are done with our cone. <laughs> All right, we are done with our cone. We're going to use our target pad in a minute, but first, we're going to do the first couple levels of our video challenge for today. Okay, the first couple moves are so easy. All right, but then after we do our other challenge move, we're going to finish the video, and the last couple of parts are hard. Okay, if you've done duck, jump, duck, avoid, it's kind of like that, except the moves you'll need to know today are low block, outer form block with both sides. You'll need to know outside block, which goes across your face this way, okay? That blocks uh, something that's coming straight at my nose. So this will block something hitting me here, this will block something swinging here, this will block here, that will block my ear, and then outside block blocks my nose. You also, excuse me, need to know how to duck and jump because that's in a lot of these videos, okay? So those are the moves that we're gonna need to know for this. All right, here we go. I'm gonna get rid of my timer. All right, hopefully this has moved out of the way enough we can at least see some of those moves coming out. Blocking challenge, volume up a little bit. All right. Get, get ready. ready. Get ready, I'm gonna pause it here. I'm gonna go, dun, 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 dun. give me just a second. All right, can't go much bigger than I am right now. All right, here we go. Get ready, get in your stance like you're gonna spar. Level, Level one. one. Level one. Left, left low block. block. Left block. Alright, so that wasn't too bad. Left, left outer, outer forearm forearm block. 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 So watch that block swing at us. And that was level one. Level, level two. two. Alright, level two. Here we go. Left, left low block. block. Left, left outer, outer forearm, forearm block. block. Right, right low, low block. block. Right, right outer, outer forearm, forearm block. block. Level, level three. three. Strength, Strength build around. Do 10 seconds, ten seconds, seconds of push ups. Seconds. Ready. ready. Set. Set. Go. Go. Level four. Left low block. Low block. Left outer forearm block. Right low block. Right outer forearm block. Left 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 outer forearm block. Right, right low block. Right low right block. Right block. Right outer right forearm block. block. Right block. Right block. Left outside block. 
Level 6. Straight build around. Do 10 seconds of push ups. Ready. Set. Go. Level 7. Left foot block. Left out of forearm block. Right low block. Right out of forearm block. Done. Left, left outside, outside block. block. Right, right outside, outside block. block. All right, good job, good job. So we're going to pause this challenge. Whoa. Oh, we have one more move. I, I did a lot. we got to jump. Get ready to jump. Ready? Jump. Now we completed that one. I forgot they were coming out with two extra moves that time. Level. All right, so I'm going to pause that. We're going to need your target pad. Then we're going to finish up to the last levels of that challenge. You're really tough. Here we go. So. What we're going to work on now is our crescent kick. This is going to be our kick of the class here. We're working on an outside crescent kick. So you're going to hold it in whatever hand you're going to kick with. So I'm going to use my left leg first. So I'll take my left leg, swoop backwards to hit with an outside crescent kick, okay? So hold it back, big outside crescent kick just like that. You can go lower if you want to, but the goal here is keep your kicking leg straight. All it does is swings in a circle. It doesn't kick. It doesn't like kick like that, okay? So we're going to go first. Okay, thank you. For 15 seconds, if my timer will let me, with those left outside crescent kicks. Ready? Set and go for it. Good. Yeah, you can the other hand out just for fun. There you go. Good. Big circle. Big circle. I can't see my clock hand. Hold the pad. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. And switching sides. Let's just practice first. So again, my right hand's holding. My right leg swoops up and out. Swoop. All right. Got it. All right, here we go. Set the timer. 15 seconds. Ready to go. Big swoop. Oh, good. It's loud. Yeah, I hit my foot. Instead of my foot hitting the pad. Good. Five seconds left. Again, try to get that other hand up if you can. And time. All right. Now we have inside pressing it. So now I'm still holding. Uh, I guess I could, yeah, it's better if I hold the hand's going to kick. So this leg now goes the other way. So I'm holding my left hand. My left foot hits going this direction out. So this is called an inside pressing kick. Let's work that left side 15 seconds. Ready to go. Up and in. Good. Yep. Up and in. Inside pressing kick. Up and in. Good. Got it. Whoosh. The whoosh. Good. And three more seconds. Two more seconds. And time. All right, let's practice the right side. Then we'll reset the timer for 15 seconds. So here, my right leg goes behind me. And in front, inside crescent. It ends by going in that way. Okay? Alright, here we go. 15 seconds, ready? And go for it. Inside crescent kick. Inside crescent kick. Good. That was not as good. There we go. That's better. Up and over. Good. Up and over. Good. Looks like we have five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and time. Alright, so we got our kick going on there. Alright, so what we have left. You can toss that to the side. Is our last few levels of our blocking challenge. Now, you can kind of get the routine. So it's low block, outer forearm block, low block, outer forearm block, dunk, outside block, outside block, jump, okay? And then we have a random round coming up and maybe just a couple of more push-ups if you guys can handle it. We're gonna resume last video, get ready. Level eight, here we go. Left low block. 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 Left out of forearm block. block. Right low right block. block. Right out of forearm block. block. Go. Ready, 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 Left outside block. block. Right, right outside, outside block. block. Jump. 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 All right, I want to Left high block. Right 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 high block. Right
Straight build up. Build up. Do 10 seconds, seconds of push ups. Push -ups. Ready. Ready. Set. Set. Go. Go. Level 10. Final level. Left high block. Left high block. Right low block. Duck. Right outside block. Right high block. Jump. Left low block. Left out of four and block. Right out of four and block. Left out side block. Left high block. Jump. We did it. All right, all right. Good measure. This song, six foot, this song, I think, on. All right. Awesome job. Let's switch back over here. So, again, if you haven't booked, your parents haven't booked your online, your in person classes, definitely book that. If you want to do more than one in a week and there's space on that day to come, you can definitely book that as well. We'd love to see you guys. We are working really hard uh, to keep you guys going, to keep get us going through all this. And uh, yeah, we'll see you very soon. Thank you, gentlemen. Say bye. bye. <laughs>